guys, I'm Jess Dempsey from the fashion blog What Will Carl Do? And I'm about to have my third baby. And a lot of requests um, from my readers have been about what I pack in my hospital bag. So I'm packing as we speak because I'm due in four weeks. And I thought I would go through with you um, everything that I'm packing. So let's just get straight into it nappies newborn nappies um, i always take i always buy them in bulk um, and i take one of the already pre-packed um, cases i suppose you call it and that should see me through my four days in hospital if you're there for less time you know you probably don't need to take that many but i'm there for four days baby wipes um, I used to um, use cotton balls dipped in water and it was just too messy for me. I did that with my first baby. Second baby, I took wipes and it made life a lot easier for me. So I'm doing it again. And I love the tushies um, because they are just all natural and organic. And um, I'm pretty sure they're biodegradable, but you can take any that you prefer. Great, now for the baby, let's talk about what we're gonna take for bubs. So you need some muslin wraps because the baby will be wrapped um, in its first, you know, few months of birth. Um, this is a cute one that I'm going to save for our um, trip home because it's my favourite. So I washed all my baby goods in sensitive um, laundry detergent and fabric softener. Um, that's just something that I do. Um, and I also wash my clothes in the same um, and all its blankets so it gets familiar with the smell may or may not be um, accurate or um, the right thing to do but I do it so wraps I have one two three four five six to seven wraps that I take I've got some from my previous births and I've just rewashed them all so we've got about six or seven wraps. Now, we love the newborn onesies, pure baby do break ones, just FYI. Um, the zippies, it makes life easier instead of trying to do the buttons up one by one by one when you're sleep deprived in the middle of the night. And I take, um, I think I've got about seven as well. Look. You know, I'm just um, catering for more in case we have accidents throughout the day um, with, you know, nappy things. And um, I'd rather pack more than have to get a sleep deprived husband to race home and try and find um, everything that I need for him when he won't find it anyway. So I'd rather take more than less. Our singlets, same amount. Two, four, six, eight, yeah, about eight. Um, this is what the baby wears under its onesies. And it's got the three cl uh, clasps underneath. So they're all washed and ready to go. The more the merrier. Now I bought these. It's actually, these are actually nappies um, I got from Big W, I think. Um, but what I do with these, Things is for I chuck it over when I'm feeding the baby. Um, and, sorry, I'm burping the baby, so it doesn't spill on me if it burps up. Um, and then in its bassinet in the hospital, I put this down, and then I put the baby down so it's tucked in safe. So if it um, spits up throughout the night, it goes onto this. This is something that I do. You don't have to do it. Freshly washed bassinet blanket, so the baby will um, have this over it. Um, in the bassinet at the hospital. A really good tip is to make sure that when you get home you put this um, in your baby's uh, bassinet so it gets familiar with the smell and already knows it. Okay, um, some hospitals suggest that you bring your own um, baby wash because the baby will have its first bath in the hospital so we love um, La Clinica's Organic for Baby, we've been using it for all our um, babies. It's organic and it's, I love it. 
so you don't have to use that but take your own um, baby wash and moisturizer um, you'll get to know that um, hydrating the baby's skin is really good for it what else have we got oh I take um, the nappy bags um, I can't remember if the hospital have them for you but I'll take them just in case dirty nappies go in here and in the bin keep the smell out of your hospital room I take a pen and uh, notepad to write down every time um, and how long I feed for um, and anything else that I need to write down to remember. Um, there are lots of apps out there um, that you can use also, but um, I do love pen to paper. Now, in a separate little um, Ziploc bag, I probably should have got a bigger one, but that's fine. Um, I put the baby's um, outfit that it will wear when we're going home. So I've got a little hat for it to keep it warm um, between the transition between the cars and the hospital and home. A little cardigan, singlet and a onesie. Don't know if my baby's going to be a boy, but um, <laughs> this is what I have for my other pregnancies. So... This is in its own little Ziploc bag or in its bag, um, so I know that this is what I'm going to grab on our last day. Now, for Mama, maternity pads, big ones, I'm taking two. Two. There'll be a um, pharmacy at the hospital if you need more or I just suggest you take more than less. Um, I pack a couple of plastic bags for soiled clothes that are mine or the baby's just so when we get home we know that whatever's in here goes straight in the wash. Um, just for a sleeping mask because um, I remember in the hospital there's always a light on and um, I find it hard to sleep. So I bought this to help me through the nights the best that it can. Don't forget, oops, don't forget your charges if you're taking your phone, which I'm sure you will, um, and a laptop, um, take your charger too, and a camera, uh, and the camera charger. <laughs> now, I'm not taking Ugg boots or slippers, um, but you can. I'm taking these big mama socks that I picked up from the post office. Um, because it gets cold in there and you're walking around sometimes to the hospital nursery or to classes so I'm packing these guys also taking some other socks as well but these yeah so I like found boots um, this is a tubey grip for my physio you may or may not have one but it's good for recovery after your baby's born <clears throat> Two pairs of shoes I'm taking, thongs, so I can just slip them on and walk around the hospital when I need to. No need for fashion statements in the hospital. And some just flats that I can chuck on easily, um, and especially for my trip home. Comfy pants with elastic band to slip on in the daytime. I have three to four of these. So I've got the chambray, i got black, and these are all maternity by the way because I will still wear maternity clothes after my baby's born. <clears throat> Pajamas. Now they're button up so we can feed the baby easily at night. And they're long enough and warm enough for the hospital because it gets pink and cold in there at night. And they're elastic and stretchy around the waist. Okay, so another thing um, for mama is uh, nursing pads. <clears throat> so you'll put these in your bra when you your milk comes in and you know the drill, um, <laughs> but you'll need these. I'm taking one pack of 40. Um, 
You could take another, the more the merrier, I suppose. Um, but they are an essential. Button up shirts. So, what we will wear, and what I have packed, are some feeding singlets with inbuilt bras inside. Put that on first in the morning, and then you put your shirt on the top. So you look decent enough to have visitors and you feel a little bit better, but all you're wearing is really a singlet and a shirt. <clears throat> so I'm packing four of these and a couple of feeding bras. <clears throat> and then just some more tops. So button down tops to put over your feeding singlet. and feeding tops. Okay, now we need to talk about cosmetics. I found this um, makeup bag awesome because you can see inside. So I've done an edit of my makeup. So I'm only taking pieces that I think will get me through my day instead of getting, you know, um, eyeshadows, etc. So I've just got blush, foundation, moisturizer, um, mascara, deodorant, and then toothpaste, toothbrush, you know, the essentials, dry shampoo, which will be amazing. Um, I am taking shampoo and conditioner just in case, but small little bottles. <clears throat> Um, just some cleansing wipes, so at night time I just wipe my face, throw it in the bin and it's done. Nipple cream, because you'll need it. And I'm taking my belly rub, um, hopefully I get to do that in hospital, if not I'll be doing this when I get home. Um, also I'll be packing a hair dryer for the fingers crossed opportunity to wash my hair. And lastly, a dressing gown. And that's it. So that's what I'm taking um, in four weeks time to have my baby at the hospital. Um, and you'll see more in the blog post um, below this video.